give us a little broader perspective on the restaurants and drinking establishments in Willow Glen, we have Pierre Luigi Oliverio, who's our representative from District 6. Pierre Luigi, welcome. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Good. So, uh, tell us about what is it that makes uh, a restaurant successful from your experience? Well, I, I believe Willow Glen has had many successful restaurants, uh, many of them, you know, privately owned, family owned. Uh, I think the key is offering, you know, differentiation between you and someone else, but also it's that level of service that people come to expect. And I think there's a lot of those stories in Willow Glen on Lincoln Avenue. Now, we also, along with privately owned, we also have some chains. So what, what do you see as a difference between the, the two of them? Well, I, I think it's like any small business. You know, when you're hands-on, you tend to be more involved. Uh, I mean, when you can look at Zanotto's grocery stores, incredible customer service, much better than you'll ever find at a Safeway. With that said, same token, whether it's, uh, you know, Top Nosh or Vinsanto or, uh, you know, any number of the locally owned places, you'll find that they're very in tune to, to customer service, and I think that's a big deal. Got to have a quality product, as, as many of them do, and that's, a, that's also there. You know, we've had a number of restaurants that have started here and actually expanded out beyond Willow Glen. Well, you, you're, you're right. I mean, the success of Willow Street Pizza, historically being here, um, in the, moving out to Los Gatos and the other facility, regional areas that it's serviced, um, OPA being here on the avenue, moving out to Los Gatos and other areas. So I think Willow Glen is a great test bed for, you know, uh, families and the demographic that it represents to say, hey, if you can make it on Lincoln Avenue, then you have the potential to go elsewhere because we're we're a finicky customer here in Willow Glen. So we want you know we want good service, we want good value, we want good food, and again, it, it's a good offers a good great prototype. Yeah, well, I mean the yogurt shop has also expanded out. A Keys has uh, now four locations, so a lot of places have started here and, and moved. Out. How important is it to have a supportive community in a business district? Oh, I think it's paramount. I mean, I think you look at any of the successful neighborhood business districts locally or nationwide, it, it really depends on residents coming back and back again and again to enjoy their local neighborhood business district. Um, so that, that's paramount. You need those repeat customers. You need those regulars, whether they're walking or biking. Um, I mean, that's just great for the local businesses. So we just had our uh, public opinion poll, and mm -hmm. people were uh, expressing their opinions on their favorite places and things to eat. What, what would you say your favorite things to eat are? My favorite things to eat? Well, I would say it's a certain Greek salad. Uh, I would say it's a certain special omelet in the morning. Uh, I would also say it's a, maybe a, a certain special margarita that's prepared here on Lincoln Avenue. Uh, also might be some uh, Kung Pao chicken that can, you can find here on Lincoln Avenue, as well as some unique pies. And uh, some uh, Woodburn pizzas. How's that work for Woodburn? <laughs> <laughs> wood, wood oven pizzas. <laughs> well, that's the nice part about Willow Glen is that there are so many different options for you to choose from. You know, we also have uh, a new building coming on the avenue at Lincoln and Willow. Uh, what do you know about the um, businesses coming in there? Sure. I call that the Fountain Plaza, since at the corner of Lincoln and Willow, you're going to have a beautiful fountain with a seating area that will be a gathering space for uh, residents of Willow Glen, where it has been much acclaimed in the paper that Lou's Village is going to return, a smaller Lou's Village, but yet a Lou's Village. It'll have nice 20-plus uh, tables on the patio looking at the fountain, as well as uh, Willow Glen Yogurt will be incorporated with... Um, fountain viewing seating on the patio, as well as Willow Street Pizza will garner a larger patio. And then I also have heard that Crepe Vine, they make crepes, uh, will be one of the signatories to the building, uh, kind of m managing out the area in front of the fountain. So we're very much looking forward to it. We believe construction will start in late September, and it'll take, you know, 18 months to complete the whole project. I just want to remind Willow Glen residents that, you know, Lincoln Avenue is a great special place, and if you want it to continue to be successful, that it's most important that you eat at, on Lincoln Avenue. There's a lot of options here for us to partake in, and if you want the business district to continue to, to, to support, because the retail needs successful restaurants to support the people walking by that may make their purchases, so I think it's all in all that, you know, to continue to spend your money on Lincoln Avenue. Yeah, put your money where your house is. Exactly, exactly. Your MLS listing is partially benefited from a successful business district because yes, there ain't is. no little cute business districts in Almaden, and Berryessa, Cambrian, or anything like that. Right. Good. Well, thank you very much for joining us here sure. today, Willow Glen in Motion. We always appreciate your patronage. Well, Kevin, thank you for keeping Willow Glen in Motion. We have some fantastic eating and drinking establishments here in Willow Glen. Go to our Facebook page and let us know what you think about our poll. Our next public opinion poll is for your favorite retail establishment. 
let us know where you go to shop. You may see them on a future Willow Glen Emotion show. Just go to willowglenemotion.com and click on vote. In our next program, we will be exploring community support organizations in Willow Glen. Until next time, let's keep Willow Glen in motion. Everybody likes to eat. Of course, each may have his own individual preference, but no matter whether it's a hot dog at the county fair or a full course dinner at the Ritz, there's no denying that people like to eat. Food is the high spot in our daily lives. Whether it's aboard a speeding train or in our favorite lunchroom round the corner, for man must eat. And therein lies the secret of the growth and popularity of one of our biggest industries, the restaurant. Here is a business employing over two million persons and doing over two billion dollars worth of business annually. All because people have to eat, like to eat, and don't like the work of fixing their own food. But regardless of the style or type of restaurant, they all have one thing in common and that is the serving of food. This must be prepared on the premises. So a restaurant is a factory as well as a retail and service institution. Here in its kitchen or workshop must be manufactured all the goods sold to its customers. This is its production line, hurrying to keep pace with a hungry world. But this is no ordinary business of assembly, for here we are dealing with perishables. Many raw materials must be obtained daily and kept under refrigeration until used. Furthermore, it must be handled under the strictest sanitary requirements, for here rests a great public responsibility and a private reputation. This is a department for skilled and careful workers, for on their ability depends much of the success and future of the organization. But there is more than food and service needed for success. Behind the smooth, efficient running restaurant is the manager. On his shoulders rests the responsibility of the success or failure of the business. But perhaps you're saying you're not interested in managerial work. Perhaps it is someone specialized field like cooking or dietetics that holds your interest. Here again, training is just as important as it is in an executive capacity. The knowledge of foods and their preparation is a science in itself, and only by a thorough understanding of what constitutes a balanced meal can one hope to realize the better jobs offered by our eating places. Special courses in high schools, vocational schools, and colleges are offered to help one in securing and maintaining better positions in large restaurants, hotels, and hospitals. These courses include not only the preparation of food, but it's economical purchase as well. This does not mean buying provisions of poor quality. It means buying the right quantities at the right prices. Then there's the job of being a hostess or a head waiter. This too requires careful training. Such persons are the restaurant's direct contact with its patrons. It is through them that the customers form their opinions. 
Their importance is never underestimated by a successful restaurant. Their jobs are good ones, but it has taken training and personality to get them and keep them. But no matter what one's individual preference may be as to the type of restaurant work he wants to do, he should first have a genuine liking for food and people, for this is the very foundation of his aptitude. If you have this natural inclination, plus the proper training and willingness to work, the restaurant business offers many opportunities and a promising future as your life works.